Hey everybody, welcome to Papa Bear Gaming. The gaming show where we talk about mostly salmon and a little bit of gaming sprinkled in. I know it's a little bit late, but happy 4th of July. Just happened to, uh, you know, set up a little America flair here. I just want to talk about my July pickups. Uh, it's been a while since I did one of these pickup videos. Maybe because my other video got like 7 views, but that's alright. I'm not mad. Not mad at all. But uh, I just want to share the games that I got for this month. Um, we're just going to go through most recent console. I'm going to end at the oldest console, which is going to be the NES. But um, all right, let's get into some games. Alright, let's start looking at the games. First one is going to be the PS4 console. It's going to be God of War. I love the original series on the PS2. I played God of War 3 on the PS3. And I never got to play this one, so that's why when I found this PlayStation Hits, it was reasonably priced. God of War, I picked it up. Next one is The Last of Us. Another one of these games that I got to miss out on, and again, a PlayStation hit. I'm glad it was re-released. That way, I get to play it in perfect high definition. That was a little bit of my life where I didn't really play any games, so what ended up happening was I missed out on a ton of great games. Like, The Fractured Butthole. Great play on Word of There, by the way. Also excited to play this one. And then the last one, I just kind of picked it up because it wasn't that expensive and it seemed like a complete addition. Rise of the Tomb Raider, 20 year celebration. So it has a bunch of the DLCs and other stuff in it. Um, again, really excited about those. So PS4 is done. Next thing, and I don't know if the PS3 or the Wii came out first. Um, so I'm just going to go with the Wii because I only have one game for it. It's going to be Balls of Fury. Um, I saw the movie years ago. I love the movie. I laughed so hard at it. I uh, never even knew that they came out with the game. But now I have it in my collection. I might even give it a shot. It's probably not any better than Wii U Sports or, I'm sorry, Wii Sports. But I'll give it a shot. Next we're going on to PS3. You got Dead Island Riptide. Clash of Titans. And another South Park game, The Stick of Truth. Next one is PS2. So we have Stuntman, Dukes of Hazards, yeehaw! Since Video Games Monthly sent me a bunch of Dukes of Hazards game, I figured I might as well just complete the collection. So I found that one at a thrift shop. I got it. Wolverine's Revenge. Now, I made a mistake. Because somebody once told me that Wolverine Origins was a really great game. And I saw this one, I figured, oh cool, I'll get it. I'll probably have fun with it. I didn't realize it was from X-Men 2 movie. Oh well, live and learn. Black Hawk Down, Team Saber. Viet Cong, Purple Haze. Call me a sucker, but I have a special place in my heart for those types of games. I can't imagine all of them are good, but I have a big lot that I gotta get through including these next one is Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles I love Naruto I think I was in college when I started watching it but it was it was fantastic to this day I still love it I try to push it on my kids they're they're not that big of fans of it next I got Aragon's Quest ultimate board game collection just for giggles and it was cheap Unreal Tournament, because I didn't even know that that came out on the PS2, and I loved playing it on the PC. Destroy All Humans, because I'm pretty sure this was a really good game. I just never got to play it. And Pirates of the Caribbean, because I played the first one for a little bit, so I figure this one's probably going to be good, too. Now, let's move on to the older gen stuff. Gary Kitchen's Super Battle Tank. It was funny because I have this on the NES and I kept reading it as Gary's Kitchen 
as if, you know, it's some guy in his kitchen. I figured it was just a programming joke. <laughs> but now I understand that Gary Kitchen is an actual guy that uh, had a lot of successes under his belt. You know, learn something new every day, I guess. Next one for the NES is Spider-Man and X-Men. Uh, pretty good game from what I understand, even though it has the LJN logo. You know, I guess LJN does have some okay games. You know, it's not all trash. Or, I mean, mostly trash, but at least once in a while they'll have a decent game. And then last one is Mortal Kombat 3. Now, the reason I bought this game was probably overpriced, but one day I walked into a game store and I saw Mortal Kombat 1 and 2. And I said, eh, I'm not going to buy them this week. I'll probably buy them next week. They'll still be there. And guess what? I never saw them again, and I wish to this day I bought them. It was like 7 bucks a piece or something like minuscule like that. And to this day, I kick myself in the butt. Just what it is. Last but not least, let's talk about the NES titles. We have Caveman Games, Karate Kid, Tech Mobile, because of course you have to have Tech Mobile inside your collection, and Rambo. Please like, comment, subscribe. I hope you found some of your favorites in this video. Tell me, which ones were your favorites? I'd love to hear from you. In about a week or so, I should be releasing my VGM video. I gotta record it, and then I gotta do some edits. I just got it in the other day. So stay tuned for that one. Have a good one. And whatever you do, just be safe out there. Have a enjoyable July 2022. And if you happen to be watching this next year, around July 4th, have a happy July 4th. Well, it looks like I'll be hanging my hat on this video.